These women struggled to find the perfect wedding dress. I think the other one. <laughs> oh, what do you think? I don't know. <laughs> Here comes mommy. She's getting ready. You think this one's going to look nicer? But they also have the hardship of marrying men who may go off to war. You go through everything with them. Even if you're not overseas, you still feel it when they come home. So you definitely, it's, it's wonderful. It takes any burden off of her. CM Bridal is participating in Brides Across America. Military brides and service women need only to flash a military ID and they walk away with dresses worth up to thousands of dollars completely free. Couture Miss Bridal Informal partnered with the national organization to give away designer dresses this Tuesday and Wednesday. Gowns up for grabs included those from Vera Wang, Maggie Sotero, and Da Vinci. It gives you awesome feeling to be able to help someone and like I said this is just one of the ways Couture Miss Bridal Informal can say thank you to our military for defending the freedom of the country. On an airman salary, it's not a lot of money. That now can go towards the reception. That now can help his parents out. That now we, we don't have to worry about something more. So it takes a lot off our hands. Kelly Hayden will marry her Air Force fiance in North Carolina next May. The $1,100 dress donated from Couture Miss Bridal makes her dream wedding a reality. It just made me feel like I was beautiful. It's exciting, but it, it's kind of like, is, is it real? You know, like, cause you think about this like when you're a little girl and then all of a sudden, you know, it's getting ready for it, you know? Yeah, it's real. Yeah, <laughs> this yeah. yeah, not imagining it now. <laughs> Catherine Ashlock, her veteran fiance, and her five-month-old baby girl drove all the way from Philadelphia to take advantage of the deal. I was ecstatic when she said this, you know, saves me some money, and honestly, I think we got something better than I, I could have afforded anyway, so. Brides must either be service women or engaged to an active duty serviceman or veteran of Iraq or Afghanistan. Todd McCallick served in Afghanistan five years ago, but now wants to focus on family. I knew if I re-enlisted where I was going, it was going to be Afghanistan. And I just, not good for family. Right? You might not be here. You wouldn't be here, actually. Compared to dealing with deployment, picking a dress seems easy. Luckily, these brides have their loved ones to help. I'm so like, I want to boss her around and be, it's just fun, it is, it's very fun, I'm excited for her. But they have to say, I do, in the end. I think this is it. I think it's it, I think it's the one. Yeah. In Upper Marlboro, I'm Stephanie Woods for CNS-TV.